Welcome to BMIW, and I am yours truly, the voice of wrestling, Ted Stryker. And we're kicking things off with singles action. And it seems to be having repeating that for a long time now. But either way, singles, tag team, triple threat, fatal four, no matter what kind of match it is, it's a good one no matter what. But Colby McCarron kicks off the show and singles action to take on returning after a two to damn near three week hiatus from the company after having a hellacious match at BMIW chain link and he takes on Tyler Steele now note Tyler Steele is not a per se new superstar in the wrestling business or wrestling area but Tyler Steele has agreed to work with BMIW and stay with BMIW and BMIW is going to be one of his many homes for the future of wrestling. Well, like I say, at this point, I got my money on Tyler Steele winning this match and getting the W, but after taking a hellacious beating back and forth with Sean Webb at chain link, who knows if he's still even 100%. But we're going to find out. Coming up as Tyler still takes on Colby McCallum. And we start the show strong with a lockup between a brawling powerhouse with a little bit of a technical side. Almost kind of reminds you of a little bit of Pete Dunne with the brawling style of kind of a strange comparison, but a man like Wade Barrett. But we'll see how that fares against a man like Tyler Steele as we go with the super kick. And ooh, expected maybe a poison rana, but targeted the back with the drop to the knee. You know, wait a minute, here we go. The speed comes into play. Oh, right for the knee. But drives his knee into that turnbuckle because it's a good thing it was padded. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Pin out of nowhere! Almost got him the three. I don't know exactly what happened there, but... Coley went for something, and... Steele, I guess, took advantage of just catching his opponent off guard. One... Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. Oh, the haymaker. Elbow to the side of the face of Tyler Steele. From the snake ass positioning counter by Tyler Steele with the reverse DDT. 
with the disrespectful slap into the kick. The combination's coming out of steel. And end of the pin, getting him a two count. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Right for the pin. One, two, and. Oh, super kick. Regal Plex. Both these two superstars desperate to get that three count and get themselves the W of the night. And my god, what a maneuver. Follow a moonsault. Two, three. Could have been it catching McCaleb off his tracks and using his own momentum against him. Here's that arm drag. Went for a drop. Oh! Colby McCallum has a stoppage to the momentum of his own with that forearm, but only gets in the one count. Didn't have enough sauce on that punch, I guess. And from the corner... Here we go. Flippy stuff. Flippy stuff from Tyler Steele over the ropes. We take this match to the outside. And don't forget, BMIW is hard wood on the outside. There's no match at all. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. From the top. Oh, Dragon Rana. Not even conscious of the fall or the drop or even being caught into a vicious powerbomb on the wooden floor. Tyler Steele does not care at all. Wait a minute. My God, caught him again. Two and almost three. No, no, left set two. Left set two. From my angle, I could have swore it was a three, but the rest, the ref said it was a two count. Then, damn it, it was a two count. And here's a schoolboy pin. One, two, and barely enough. Hey, but wait a minute. Wait, did Tyler still hurt his arm, possibly shoulder, getting up from that simple leverage pin? I, I don't know what happened. I, 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 I don't know. Maybe he moved it wrong. So we could be playing with a possible engine, I think. Michaela was going to take advantage of that. Stomping the arm of Tyler Steele. And now I'm going to apply pressure in the bandit backwards. 
Or the arm trap face, cross face. And there was super kick back in the match. Poison Rana. As Tyler Seal is able to keep his, keep himself in the match. I'm not sure if that arm is affecting him or not. He may just be fighting through it. But we're going to see as this night goes on. Wait a minute. Out of nowhere. The running forearm. One. Could it be it? Two. Three. But Caleb walks out with the W. And continuing the night in BMIW Wrestling. Cameron Rose. Your current BMIW United States Champion. And this company takes on in a triple threat match. Second match of the night takes on Jamal Kincaid. And you damn well guessed it. Tony O'Ryan is... I'm not entirely sure Tony O'Ryan is exactly done with Cameron Rose. Proving that Cameron Rose is not the rightful champion and that Tony O'Ryan is your rightful champion, but I think if he wants to prove to the world that he is your rightful champion and better than Cameron Rose, they may be winning some matches and proving to the world what he's exactly capable of may be the right move. But speak of the devil, Tony O'Ryan makes his way to the ring. And what unknown intentions does O'Ryan have in this triple threat match against either one of these superstars? Remains unseen and unknown, but coming up as we wait the arrival of Jamal Kincaid. What's next for the champion? Just all these thoughts. After the attack last week, after his match... Cameron Rose cannot be a hundred percent. This matchup, after being literally tossed off a semi truck last week by Tony O'Ryan, as Cameron Rose was ready to defend himself in every way possible, but enough about them to let's go to Jamal Kincaid, as Jamal Kincaid may be looking this week to impress the COO and the owner of the stand company or anybody back in the locker room and earning himself a spot for the BMIW championship. But once again, the future remains unseen, but the future will be written. And here we go, something's up. And Tony O'Ryan already taking off against Cameron Rose. I feel like I said Cameron Rose name too many damn times. And a big fight feel aggressive behavior of Jamal Kincaid targeting the champion. It seems like both Tony and Ryan and Kincaid want to prove their worth of holding a championship. So Cameron Rose is all by himself. Is just slowly embed its way in the form of a handicap match. 
Though I don't want to say it's going to be a 2 on 1 the entire time, but it's a triple threat match. A lot of alliance is made, a lot of alliance is broken. It could go anyway. That's what's so beautiful about a triple threat match. Who works together? Is every man for themselves? And rolls from the top with a missile drop kick. And into the vicious knee to take out O'Ryan. Went for a possible spear or something, but Rose saw it ahead of time and played leapfrog. Wait a minute! Oh, drop kick! It's made too early to say or even tell. This match could go either way. There's no balance, no nothing, just a little bit of chaos and a whole lot of what did I just witness? And a roll up to steal the victory! Oh, Ryan! Buddy, I don't think you want to target Jamal. I think you, you want to have your eyes on Orion. And speaking of Orion! I thought he was going to target Rose. And take advantage of... Being blind. Went for a close up, but I'm not sure what just, what just happened there, but Either way, Cameron Rose seems to be the one that's up first, so maybe he didn't take the entire blow and here we go from the top. Wait a minute, four fifty Rose to the outside. This match can go any way. It is one fall. Wait a minute. Oh! Took advantage. I'm not sure that's what that's the intentions of Rose, but I think he may be getting out of possibly the level of Orion. And speaking of Orion, Jamal tried to take the match for himself, but quickly Billy the Billy now fired up. Could we see Tony Orion get the W and pin the champion? I can tell you this much if I were the champion right now, I'd, I'd be focusing on trying to end the match as soon and as quickly as possible. Especially for it being a triple threat match and being that I damn near killed myself last week. My God! I don't know if that was his intentions, but Orion just ate a knee to the face. And Rose took advantage of Jamal getting cocky during the match. That's not, that's not something you want to do, especially when there's no allies in the match with you. 
Go into the corner. Here's a drop kick. And another one. Trying to recuperate and wait a minute. Maybe take an advantage of this and wait a minute. Back suplex landing a job on Jamal. Gonna go for the pin. Wait a minute, two. As Orion finds a way to get back up. As I'm not sure he wants to show how beaten and battered this man is from taking that knee to the face to straight up landing on top of Jamal. But here we go, wait a minute, wait a minute, possible ender! My god, the ref was down! The ref was down and Tony Ryan taking advantage of the steel chair! To the skull of Cameron Rose. But he wants to keep the ref down. From the top. Wait a minute. Owen oh, Jamal. Does it for him. Tony and Ryan taking himself out, fighting his way back up. And Jamal, wait a minute, wait a minute. I think he's going with an air raid bomb. But wasn't quick enough to react. Vicious drop kicks from the corner from Orion. Wait a minute, here we go, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Here's the finish, here's the finish. I know it's the finish. I know it is. Orion has him set up, but wait a minute, doesn't want to end him off just yet. Just yet, wait a minute. There's that moonsault. Took too much time, didn't take the cover when he had the chance, and Jamal breaks up the pin. As Tony and Ryan sends himself to the outside to take out Jamal Kincaid. No telling what's going on. It took advantage of a blinded rose from behind. Wait a minute, here we go again. Here we go again. The finish. I got that feeling. One, two, and th no. And Orion has to be frustrated by now.
And Tony and Ryan remaining in control of the matchup. From the top. And into a belly to belly to take advantage. What a knee. Only two competitors in the ring, Tony, Tony O'Reilly or Jamal Kincaid, could take advantage of this and get the W. But wait a minute. Another electric chair rolling elbow. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Fairy tale ending. Here we go. To win the match. I think he was looking for that shooting star press, but both superstars got up, denying the ability of landing the maneuver. As Orion took advantage. What a DDT! Are they gonna launch himself that shooting star from the top? He is! To pin Jump Maul and win the match! One! Two! Three! If that don't prove why he's champion, I don't know what does. And tonight, once again, we witness Jack Grimm. A most brutal, devastating superstar in this business that could snap your neck, break your back, tear your quad, break your ankle. It doesn't really matter. But whatever he's going to do in the ring, it's going to get the job done. And every single week, the job has been done. As Jack Grimm looks to go one-on-one -on -one, one more time. With Zach Tyson.
And here we go. Will this time Zach Tyson survive a bout with Jack Grimm? We're going to find out. But a man like Jack Grimm, I don't think we're going to see something like that. Oh, here we go. Wait a minute. Oh, a twisting inverted crush. Two. My God. And Grim taking the advantage as the aggressor in this match. May force Zach Tyson to change his mindset. Maybe he changes persona. But I can promise he's going to have to try new things if he wants to win against a match. Against this kind of man. But running from the top. Maybe hitting the diving DDT a little bit early. Has him right where he wants him. That may have been too far of a reach. And in position for the move. Launched himself at Jack Grimm. The, but the man had reflexes, the speed of flash, as all that impact came crashing down back to Tyson. And wait a minute, wait a minute, I'm gonna break the neck with a pile driver! It doesn't do enough, but it sure seemed to be effective as it got him the two count. And wait a minute, wait a minute! Oh, snapping the neck! And lifting him up from the ankle and the knee. He can't be too comfortable as he fights his way out. Here we go. Tyson in control of the Michinoku. End of the DDT. Will it be enough? It wasn't from the top. But it was middle rope and not effective enough. As it only gets him a two.
Oh, here we go. Wait a minute. Oh! Slingshot DDT out of the apron. The turns have tabled as Zach Tyson went from the top to hit a five-star frog splash to the outside. I don't think this man cares what he has to do to put away Graham, but no. Back in the ring. Wait a minute. Oh. Making a comeback. Oh. Knee. Leg drop. To the groin. And to the outside, wait a minute. What does he have in mind here? Wait a minute. Mitch at no cool. To the outside of the hardwood. Well, no, he's not going to do it. He's not going to do that diving DDT. He's not going to do it. He's not going to do it. I think he's realizing it may be too far away for his reach, but here we go. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No. He's going to do it. No. Head first on the hardwood. Could get him the W. That may have been a highlight for this matchup. Maybe the whole damn show. Three! That should have been it. That should have been it. And another backbreaker. Wait a minute. No. From behind. From behind. Roll up. Wait a minute. No. One. Two. No. Counter to the roll up. One. Two. Three. Doesn't break free. Doesn't break free. Jack Roll one more time for the books.
we finally reached the main event of the night. We had some form of technical difficulty, so there's no commentary for either of these two walking down the ring. I'm not sure exactly what's causing it. If someone in the back has messed something up or our equipment just going, well, wherever it wants to go. But Cody Hagan again goes one of oh one on one with Tanaka Seiko. As Cody Hagan has truly been the big man of BMIW wrestling, and I'm surprised he's not holding the championship right now. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, 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 no. No! My God! No, not again. I think he's going to do it again. Cody Hagen is just an unstoppable behemoth of a man. He don't care how big or small you are. He's going to snap you in two. And he's proving it right now. As he, as he have, hasn't had to prove it at all. If you date back to his match with, dare I mention, EWA's own world heavyweight champion, Austin Aries. As Austin Aries may have walked away still your champion as, as it was a non-title match. Cody Hagen still proved that he's got a championship fight in him. So are we going to see Cody Hagen for the end of the year your new champion? Of hell, anything? We're going to find out as this is our main event of the night as Cody Hagen just moves Seiko around like a rag doll. And let's speak a bit a bit too soon from the top. Wait a minute. Into a drop kick. Seiko back in control. As he wasn't in control from the start. The chops. The forearms. And that bicycle kick wasn't enough to take him down. There we go. Wait a minute. The back of the arm of the beast bite from Hagen. This man's capable of everything. Brawling, powerhouse. He's, he even has a technical side. And speaking of technical, one arm bear hug. The strength of this man might as well be. He wants to call Cody Hagen the Incredible Hulk. Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. Fighting back with a brain buster. Spike straight down, no lift, no nothing. And from the top right for that drop kick.
and fired up Seiko. Back in the matchup. Clothesline. Duck under. Another one. Oh, what a, tri what a drop kick. An elevator drop kick at that. From the top, had all the momentum, but Hagen gets up just a little bit too soon for Seiko to finish off the mission. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Kudo driver, Kudo driver, out of the chair. That's got to be enough to put away Hagen. It's got to be enough. Two and... Was... Looks like it's only a two. I thought that was it. From the top, wait a minute. Into a drop, but didn't get the distance. As it may be costing the match. Plex out of the chair just spiked. Just spiked. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. This is going to be the match. Finish! God Witch Powerbomb for the W. Again for Hagen. Three.